Good afternoon. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you very much to the organization for giving me the opportunity of being here. Uh, so I've been asked to talk a little bit about when I was asked to talk about the semantic web technologies in proteomics. Actually, uh, well, uh, I will explain. I, I'm working at ABI, but uh, I'm not working in the semantic web related area. But I will, I will give an introduction. But this is my talk. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about what, the, what, what do we do at the at the ABI, and then I will, I will introduce you about the work done in the proteomic service teams. That is the the team where I'm working at, and later on I will talk a little bit about the EBI RDF project that is going to be the thing that more, more interesting for for the organization. Uh, well then, first of, first of all, a little bit about me. I am, I'm from Spain, from a little town here in the East Coast, but I'm actually working in the United States, in Cambridge, and my studies, I'm a computer scientist, and I studied a uh, master in uh, intelligent systems. Um, well, I started the uh, research in, uh, in the University of uh, in my city, and now we're currently working uh, at the ABI. So, about the ABI, uh, well, in the ABI, you know, it, it's covered most of the fields of the biology, uh, and actually, well, I'm working in, in real common prime. So in the area of the pathways and, and the area of the proteomics. Uh, the VI services are used uh, mostly all around the world. So this I say this is nice from the all rich people at AVI, so it's also all the resources are, are used in there. Okay, so now talking <coughs> talking a little bit about, about my work. Uh, I'm actually in, in Pride and Pride is a uh, it's, a repository. it's basically a repository where people can just submit the data that is the result of the proteomic uh, research. And, well, my work in there is not right as a repository, but the Bright View project that is related to, well, it's kind of clustering the Bright data and just try to, let's say, organize data across all the, all the experiments that are submitted to the, to the repository. Then in Reactom, I'm, I'm in charge now of the development. Well, Reactom is another group, so this is not related to proteomics, this is related to uh, pathways. Uh, Reactom is a curated database about pathways, and my work in there, as I will show you later, is related to uh, the development of the new pathway browser. Um, well, and, the, and, the project, and the main project that I'm uh, currently working is called the Pathway Portal. Uh, and well, the aim of the, the pathway portal is to offer a better navigation between different, different uh, molecular biology resources for the moment just at the ABI, but later on uh, we will try to include other resources inside the ABI. Well, about Pride, uh, well, uh, uh, here, yeah, I'm sorry, I don't think you can see that much, it's very small, but well, this is the process. Uh, of the researchers just submit data to the private repository. Um, and what, what I, this is a bit what I said before, the right view we, we try to have only the data that is good enough. So we can present, uh, this is a protein based view of, of the data uh, stored in, in right. So in right view, that is the, the project that I'm working in. Uh, we have, it's based on, it's a web project. Um, so on the, on the server side we have a solar server and a RESTful service and then uh, we have uh, a web application that people can, well the, the idea is to, to show a protein centric view, is this, is this one. So can you this, it's quite small, the, what did you put on the, uh, a view of the, on the, the application, it's the well, the, the Pride view, uh, this is mainly the work that I'm doing, is the protein viewer. Uh, well, and the, no, this one. 
Okay, and this, uh, and this web application is, the idea is to, to offer something that is quite easy for the user to use, so intuitive. Um, uh, well, as, it, as I put in here, it's, it's directly consuming the RESTful service, so the client side itself doesn't have access to the database directly. Uh, well, and that was about right, and then a little bit about React. Though. This is the aspect of the new pathway browser. For most of you, or some of people of you, uh, you have used uh, the React uh, browsers in the past. Uh, so this is not a quite a new look. Is the look is quite the same as before, but the implementation underneath is completely new. So this is based in GWT, and this for MVP pattern. And the idea is to have something that is modular where we can plug more information in it. and this is the basis of the new pathway portal so data is going to be uh, data from different resources is going to be shown here on the details panel at the very beginning trying to just uh, show data for the relation between the different resources at the area okay so this has been to introduce a little bit of my work i'm sorry because it's not related to the semantic area but now I'm going to talk a little bit about other resources in the product where the impact is, uh, well, other resources in the product mix service team, where they, they use, uh, they have quite a bit of semantic uh, related uh, data. So in the past, Bruno Aranda presented here in, in the Biohackathon 2011, the psychic service. So our, our impact, impact is uh, an open source uh, open data molecular interaction database where they just curate data, data about uh, protein interaction and then they offer a service just to query the data. Uh, well, I, I don't want to go okay with this because you have plenty of what the documentation is, is available and, but basically uh, at some point they, they provide uh, the RDF data that, you, well, that can be that can be used, but I was talking with people in charge of developing this stuff, and for the moment they they are quite uh, well. They are not developing uh, more stuff related to the semantic web because uh, at the ABI it's just a new a new project that has started. It's called the uh, EBI RDF project. Uh, well, it, uh, in this project. What they, what they want is just to organize the development related to the semantic web uh, at the API, uh, different resources. Uh, what they basically did, or, or they basically so they did, they've done a lot of work here, but they started uh, uh, well, uh, analyzing uh, all the hardware that they, was, uh, they wanted to use because the idea is that they are going to deal with a large amount of data. Uh, the last presentation that you were talking about all this. So basically, <coughs> in this, at the hardware point, from the hardware point of view, they have uh, quite a good, very good uh, machines, let's say, uh, in order to later on execute all the Sparkle queries and everything and make it uh, as fast as possible. So. As the RDF contenders uh, that they analyzed, they were uh, between using uh, one that is called, sorry for the pronunciation, I think it's Virtuoso, and then Oulin, and at the very end they decided to go just for, for the first one, for Virtuoso. So what they have implemented right now, that there's, but I will talk about that uh, the next slide, but just they, they choose Virtuoso, and where well, the focus of the, of the project uh, was linking the different databases that uh, we have at the, at the ABI. Uh, of course, offering persistent URIs to all this data. Um, well, and also to share the common concepts to be able to query different resources trying to, in order to, to have a, a better, well, query different resources having uh, what is the uh, this bits of data that are common with it. So at the very beginning inference was not the focus but <coughs> that has been taken as a first plan. So what is gonna be next is working about this, this area. 
And the problem that they have, of course, are, it's not they have the, the problem is that sometimes when you use the semantic links, then you can end with a different state with, with statements that are not true. So about the RB, well, about Unibroad, uh, Unibroad is not going to be loaded initially in this uh, RDF repository because they have the, their, their own Sparkle. But what, what you can find in there is the Gene Expression Atlas dataset that is over 420 million of tables. And then Kerbal are going to be there as Gene Expression Atlas as well. So for that, they have like four virtual, machine, virtual machines. And the idea is that its uh, result is going to be deploying the data in one of these virtual machines. So they can just have different release times and they will use a, a just a balance well, and they say that the technical issues is what the uh, the, the RDF project itself is gonna is gonna solve. So about about this project they have like two uh, main uh, let's say parts. One is the frontier group and the other is the service team. And then here you have the gene expression that well, uh, in the frontier, in the frontier group, for example, we have biomodels and reactor uh, and Kimball and Uniprot. So these are the ones that that have already started working on, on this. And the frontier group is, is people that are interested in joining the, the project, but they haven't started yet with the development. Uh, I'm gonna be quick because I want to. I want to we show a few uh, snapshots later on, but uh, initially the, data, the RDF data will be available through the FTP, but later on what they want to provide is a, a web application just to explore the data directly on the web uh, <coughs> browser, and then they want to offer uh, the possibility to, to, to execute your own Spark queries directly to the, to the triple store. So, uh, well, uh, this is uh, the biomodels. You, well, the, the project is going to be released on September, but uh, but you have uh, available this uh, biomodels. But well, bio, biomodels has provided this web page where you can actually go and and query for for the data using their Sparkle. Uh, what well, this is. Yeah, you can execute Sparkle directly to, to the biomodels data. And then uh, Gene Expression Atlas, uh, they, they also have this, uh, this data available through the, through the web page. So uh, I was having a chat with them uh, and they encouraged me to, well, they asked me to encourage, encourage you to, to use their service even if it's not released. Uh, in September because with this web page uh, we have plenty of documentation and uh, if anyone is interested in this hackathon just to have a look at the data and see what is possible so we can work using what, what is available there right now. <coughs> and we're having this, the last thing is just the acknowledgements. So, uh, these are people working in, in Pride, so Juan and, and Florian. And then we have uh, people that are in Reactor. Uh, then Henning, Henning is like the team leader of <laughs> all the all Bright Reactor biomodels and Intact. And then well, thank you to Simon, Joe, and Andrew because they were helping me to get introduced to all of this RDF uh, project uh, today. So thank you very much. Thank you.